So this is a uh, Nexus My Phone. Um, this is uh, a standard uh, Hyundai head unit, but it's running our software. I plug in my phone, and the phone and the car are now handshaking and completing a connection. So my phone's now locked out. I can put it in the center console here or put it right there. I don't have to look at the phone while I'm driving. And now all the activities that we um, believe that are important for you to do in the car, that users and drivers have told us are important to them, are now on the screen of the car. There's five main activities that we put at the bottom of the screen persistently. They are the overview, which is a combination of Google Now and notifications. Here you see navigation, so it's multimodal. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm signed into my account on the phone, it appears on the car screen. It's automatically here because Google knows that it anticipates that I probably want to go there next. Mm -hmm. um, we also have music, so it's suggested music from Google Play Music or another music uh, application that I was last running either in the car or on my phone. Um, and then also we have uh, here a recent call. I must have called Daniel Jones on this phone a little while ago, so uh, that's here as well. If I want to access any of these right when I plug in, all I need to do is press them and it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And it uses material design, so it's very intuitive to the user that these are cards floating on top of the surface. Yeah. So why don't we start playing some music with Google Play Music. I'm going to press this. And uh, we're now launching the music app and searching for that music and then playing a radio station of it. So I could have done that with one tap uh, while I was driving. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. And that's the theme that we've been uh, that's underpinned the whole project. And could you do it with the steering wheel controls too? Um, I could uh, search for voice uh, with the steering wheel oh, controls, okay. so um, we could pick another band and, and do that. So, um, play Coldplay. Playing Coldplay hmm. using Google Play Music. So I kept my hands totally on the steering wheel. I didn't even have to look down and because uh, we have a voice prompt that's uh, sound only. Mm -hmm. So, and this works exactly the same as it would on your phone if you uh, did a voice search on your phone. So it's exactly the same Google, uh, Google search uh, and talking to Google because it is actually your phone, just piped through to the car. Yeah, yeah. It's so, using the data connection on your phone. Mm -hmm. um, there are some cars like the Audi S3 and Audi's announced that in the US, the A3 and the S3 are on uh, AT&T's network. So the car itself is a hotspot. Okay. So you could choose to pair your phone up with the car and use the, use the car's data connection that comes with your, uh, with your, your car. So that's really up to the manufacturer of how they want to implement those things. Great. Let's show you some other uh, amazing things though. Now this is going to be a little bit slow because we're simulating a route and uh, driving without driving because we're on the third floor of a convention center. You could, if you have an address, go navigate somewhere. But let's use Google search to actually find some place and navigate uh, to it. We showed you a little bit about that in the keynote, but here's something even more cool. So uh, Monterey is uh, south of San Francisco, mm -hmm. really cool place to visit. Um, let's find out what the weather is today in Monterey. So I'm going to use the steering wheel control for this. What's the weather in Monterey? It's 56 degrees and sunny in Monterey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it told us the weather in Monterey.